Coming up on 40 days with no rain here at the farm, things are getting exceptionally dry. I'm actually surprised there aren't any local fire warnings around here, but we have curbed our burning here on the farm because it is just insanely dry, the driest I've ever seen it. And we've been pumping water like crazy from the pond with our regular trash pump going through the two inch lay flat hose and powering those big rain gun sprinklers that I've showed you guys before. But it is finally the time and it is getting dire enough that I'm looking to make a couple upgrades here to this little irrigation system because that sprinkler with that pump, that two inch trash pump, only does about a 50 foot radius, maybe 55 or so feet. And it, it wets a circle and can put down a half inch of water in about 45 minutes, which is okay. But with a 50 foot radius, a hundred foot circle, we need to move that sprinkler a lot. So I'm looking to irrigate a larger area at once and not have to move the sprinkler as often. So today we're gonna try a higher pressure pump. In the truck here, I have from Northern Tool a two inch high pressure pump that says this has an operating pressure of up to 94 PSI, which would be more than double either of the other pumps that I have. The first thing we got to do is unbox this pump, get some oil and gas in it, get our cam lock connections in order. You can try it out. a little strainer that's nice looks like first order of business is it doesn't have its little feet so my other pumps have this these big heavy rubber feet that go on the bottom so if it's on a hard surface it doesn't bounce around and vibrate and slide over time. So my little cam lock connection swapped right over from the other pump. Now I just need to put some engine oil in, some fuel in, move the sprinkler, and we'll be ready to test this out. So this whole section of the field from pretty much like our hilltop up there down to the pond where I just was has been watered the past three, four days. We've been running the other pump nonstop, moving the sprinkler every 30 to 45 minutes and it's done a pretty good job. And in the last couple of days, this grass, this field has really greened up a lot. And I know some of you guys are drip irrigation aficionados and have mentioned numerous times, oh, I should consider drip. And I'm just not there. Kind of the simplicity of overhead irrigation kind of works for me. The other thing that I really like is our soil is largely clay and it does retain moisture really, really well. So I kind of feel like the more water I can get down over a larger area is gonna benefit the trees better in my head because I think it just really soaks into the soil and it holds the soil really well or the the soil holds the water really well so that's kind of part of my logic but what we're going to do right now is get this section of lay flat hose we're going to go straight up that way past the sawmill and try to get the cypress trees that are in the very back because they have not been watered yet and like i said it's been almost 40 days now with no rain and that is now the driest section of the property So now we just need to get the sprinkler and sometimes I'll get the four-wheeler and I'll drag the hoses around with the four-wheeler. Uh, 
just didn't do that this morning. This Sprinkler is an inch and a half rain gun. It has, I think, the largest nozzle that it came with. These plastic nozzles on the end can thread off and they have different sizes. And that'll change the output of the pump and the, uh, not just the volume of water, but the distance that it travels as well. So I think I kind of found that it just does best with the largest nozzle. And this stand is from Irrigation King. I think I actually ordered it on Amazon. I'll double check and if I find a link, I'll put it on there. And if you guys want to buy one of these through that link, then, you know, helps us out a little bit. Doesn't cost you any extra. And these definitely came off of Amazon. There's a number of knockoff brands. I would discourage you from getting the cheaper knockoffs. They have more plastic components. This is uh, mostly all brass and uh, I haven't had to do anything to these in uh, the several years that I've had them. So highly recommend spending a little bit more money and getting a quality rain gun. <clears throat> This is easily 500 feet back to the pump. This is not all of my hose, but it's all of the hose that I have with fittings on it right now. Uh, over the years, our hoses have gotten holes and we've run over them with a the mower and broken some that way. So I definitely have another rather lengthy section of hose uh, back at the shop that doesn't have any fittings on it. We're gonna see how far this goes and I actually bought some extra fittings so that we can go farther, but we'll see how the pump does it this distance first in case you're not aware. The longer distance you need to travel, the more pressure you lose and uh, I kind of just wanna see how this pump performs, how far it shoots here at this maximum distance of the hose that I have and then we'll figure out what our next step is from there. All right, that pump is on full throttle and water is definitely moving through the hose. If I step on the hose, it feels firm. Oh, and I can see it shooting off in the distance. That's dropping a nice curtain of water. And I'm probably gonna need to get out of the way. Uh-oh, sprinkler fell over. <laughs> now it's shooting straight up in the air. Going, you know, 50, 60 feet in the air easily. We'll watch it over on this side of its path and see how many tree rows it gets down. All right, so it's just reaching, actually it's exceeding the Carolina Sapphire Rose, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So while it's over here, I'm just gonna count off how many paces that is. We can estimate about three feet per step. All right. 
Woo, getting wet. 25 paces, approximately 75 foot radius, 150 foot circle, which I think these tree rows were, I don't remember, I think we did 120 feet when we set those up. And uh, we're definitely shooting off on each side of those. So that's working out just fine. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you might recall a couple years ago, I made a Google Sheets based irrigation calculator to try to figure out uh, how much of an area we are irrigating at a time and how long we would need to run the sprinkler to get the desired precipitation down on the ground. So I just put in kind of the values for this sprinkler. That pump should be doing about 80 gallons a minute. Uh, or rather that sprinkler head right now should be doing about 80 gallons a minute. It's wetting at approximately 150 to 160 foot circle, which is over four tenths of an acre. Compared to what we were doing before at just a 50 foot radius, that was less than two tenths an acre. So we've more than doubled the area that we're watering. And if we calculate how much time this is gonna need to run to get, let's say a half an inch down, uh, it's going to be about an hour and 15 minutes over that large area. Now what I think I'm going to do is not let it run the full hour and 15 in that one location because this area that I need to water right here is kind of a long rectangle. So we're going to bring it up this way, get this end as well, and I'll configure that other hose that I have and get the far end as well. And then there'll be some overlap in the middle but that's going to be what i'm going to work on here for the next couple hours today but i'm pleased with what i'm seeing so far compared to what we were getting before and you can just look here everywhere i mean everything is just dusty and dry and the ground is incredibly hard we had a field trip out here the other week and i was trying to show them kind of soil structure and i tried to put a shovel into the ground jumped on it as hard as i could jump on it and we only went in like that far so you can just tell based on that how dry it is but i put an estimated over the last three four days 70 to eighty thousand gallons of water down on that front half which is about two acres two and a half acres and we have this back section which is about an acre and a half so if we quantify how much water went down well over an inch of water went down on that entire front section of the field so now we just need to focus on this back section and i think between today tomorrow we'll get all the all of the dust problems up in this section of the field addressed because everything's going to get wet if you got questions about irrigation i'll answer what i can i'm no expert but my system has slowly improved over the last six years and this i would say is the best yet and we haven't spent a tremendous amount of money irrigation can be incredibly expensive but that pump at 700 dollars, a few hundred dollars for lay flat hose 200 300 for a sprinkler like that you've got a pretty affordable basic system that can water a pretty large area at once so thanks for watching guys see you on the next one bye bye